Elise, and I am your host for Modern Art Blitz. This is episode is our 69th episode, and so of course we had to lead off with the fabulous artist of erotica. <laughs> can I say that about you? You can say anything you want. It's Bob Branneman. Bob, ah, welcome to Modern yeah. Art Blitz. Thank you. I Thank wouldn't you. want to pigeonhole you as an erotic artist, but the, the flesh is a subject. It is. It, it is a delight. What can I say? Because, well, it's, we're all here because of that act. So that is true. Shall we, shall, shall we not say? So, so you are um, probably best known, though, as a printmaker, would you say? Well, uh, I'm a painter, a printmaker, a filmmaker. Um, are you an artist anywhere in there? <laughs> well, I, I mean, they're all art. <laughs> they are. They're all art. All right, so tell us about, on the screen there, what are we looking at? Uh, that is a drawing I did. It's called uh, Birthday for Timothy. And Timothy was probably, I don't know, five years old when I did that, and I never got it to Timothy. Oh, no. Where's <laughs> Timothy now? Uh, Timothy is not with us anymore. Oh, he no. He oh, was, geez. Uh, yes. Wild kid? Uh, he was a great kid, but he followed sort of in his parents' footsteps and uh, uh, took drugs. Oh dear. Yes, but my daughter has that piece. She ah. actually bought it for me and uh, selling art to your kids. Do they get a discount at least? Uh, she actually paid a good price. Oh man. She had a good job at the time and could afford it, 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 a number of thousands of dollars for that piece. Wow. So how how big is this piece? What year is it? It's about like this. It's 1966. Oh wow. Okay, so we're looking at a at a, at a vintage artwork. That is an old piece. It's a drawing. It's, it is a drawing. And, and, uh, and quite indicative of your style. And I think the artist that uh, comes to mind, for me at least, probably a, a friend of yours, Jess. I love Jess's work. Good yes. friend? Uh, he was a friend. He and Robert Duncan, you know, were a couple. And uh, uh, they lived in Bolinas and uh, sort of isolated to a degree. From the I, art world. I loved his Dick Tracy series. I oh, yeah? I don't know if you ever saw that series of Dick Tracy. I've seen one of them, but yeah, I, have, I haven't seen like a bunch of them. At his retrospective, there wasn't that many. No. There were not that many of them. Well, there, there were a few. They just didn't get around, but they were very funny. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he had a great sense of humor. So, so, um, so you've been making art since? Uh, since the 40s and 50s. Did you go to a proper art school? I... I won a scholarship when I was maybe 15 and went to the Belmont Art School in Wichita, Kansas, actually. Oh, wow. I, I come from Wichita, and uh, Bruce Connors, Mike McClure, a lot of artists come from Wichita. Really? Yes. They, and you, if you guys had stayed in Wichita, do you think you would have created an art scene in Wichita to I rival? Think, I think it would have been more of a we're the nuthouse scene. Oh, really? Okay. You, just, it, you didn't uh, fit in there enough to... Well, no, we left. And it, there's actually a documentary that... Uh, it's based on Allen Ginsberg's poem, uh, the Wichita Vortex Sutra poem, which is 50 years old now. It's on the internet, you can look it up, and uh, it talks about all these artists, why they had to leave Wichita. Ah. And, <clears throat> and, and uh, you know, McClure, Bruce Connors, uh, uh, Dennis Hopper, it wasn't Wichita, but Kansas, Stan Brackage, uh, and and um, I can't remember her last name, but Dorothy, uh, what was her last name? She <laughs> yeah, was from Dorothy, Kansas. Right. She had to leave Kansas, and yet to she wanted to get back. Toto, too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, I, I would like to go back, but uh, I don't really have anything there. There's nothing there? No more family? Uh, there, there's only a few. Most of my people are gone, yes. Okay. So, so uh, oh, wow. Now, what are we looking at here? Well, that's a painting called Maitreya, and Maitreya is the coming Buddha, the Buddha that hasn't got here yet, the one that's going to... I guess, save us all. Uh, we really need that Maitreya kind of like, we do. you know, <laughs> since November 8th, wouldn't you say? Uh, well, there's a lot that could be said since then, but uh, uh, Maitreya, I, I'm sort of a Buddhist, or, uh, sort of a... Uh, uh, Is that allowed sort of? You're not 100% Buddhist? Well, it, it's... Um, do they have different levels? You, you... I, I, oh, yes, many different ah. levels. Uh, when I first came to San Francisco from Kansas, <coughs> I was around Gary Snyder and... Um, the Dharma Philip, bum! Philip Gary Bailey. Snyder, this is the Dharma right, bum. Right, okay, right. wow. And, oh. and, and the peop they had a school for Asian studies uh, based on things like Suzuki uh, and uh, Gary Snyder, Philip Whalen, and... Uh, 
what Alan Watts. Had oh wow! This thing. Yeah, and, you're, uh, you're, you're dropping names like like this is like American history. Drop name like I try to drop names like hey you know I went to a party and John Baldessari drove by you know true, I dropped true. I dropped a name but you're dropping yeah. like some pretty big like nuclear bomb names here you know. Well, these were uh, the influences of my life. I hung out with these people and they influenced me and. Uh, so it sort of started me towards the East. I think all spiritual ality sort of is headed towards that. But, but aren't there people who are like hipsters in Asia that are like becoming Christians? Uh, I, there's everything. Yes. Oh yes, okay, okay. <laughs> all just, in everything. Just checking, just making uh, sure, just making uh, sure the, uh, the cultural line isn't being, uh, you know. Uh, uh, Gurdjieff, Uspensky's book, All and Everything. All and Everything. Yes. So, so what year is the Buddha painting here? That is uh, probably about uh, 35 years ago. 35 years ago, 1982. Yes. Buddhism was not, it was not trendy in 82. You were, you were, no, no, you, you stuck with trendy. it then. It, it never got finished actually. It was in a show that Arthur Monroe had that was uh, in the Soma in San Francisco. And it was sort of his answer to the beat show. A lot of the people didn't get in the beat show that should have been? That, that he felt should have been. So ah. he had a whole show and I was in it. I had Of the beaten beats? Uh, of uh, just people he thought were beats. He was a curator at uh, the Oakland Museum. So, so you were a beat, a beatnik? Well, people c uh, consider me that. Consider yes. now, I, I, I was just in a show at the landing that uh, was focused on the, uh, the people that were associated with the Batman Gallery and Painterland, which is a building that uh, Jay DeFeo lived in, and Michael McClure, and a lot of painters. Even Ed Moses lived there at one time. Ooh, Ed Moses. Yeah. Did you know that Ed Moses was born the same day and year as Hugh Hefner? Oh, wow. Uh, I, we, 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 we want to compare the Zodiac charts. We need to find Ed's birth time. Ed Moses is great. He's still painting. He's one of the, uh, he's, he's a very great painter. So I, what, when you were in the building with Jay DeFeo, was she working on the rose? You know, I was taken to see the rose, and it was one of the more ex spiritual experiences of my life. I agree uh, with you 100%. It, uh, it was in a dark room, and on the side, there were about 50 or more cans of the paint she'd been using, which eventually killed her, because it was lead-based <coughs> lead paint. But there was the painting, and light came in from the sides. It was uh, San Francisco architecture. And the whole room was just focused at that. And it's all you saw in the room. And you know, the paint's this thick. It comes, it comes off, the, the rose, the painting comes off, and, yeah, uh, a good foot or two. It, it, uh, she put everything in that painting, including jewelry she made. And it was, it was a spiritual experience. I took, I was with Billy Yarmark, who started the Batman Gallery. And I took, I had a pack of cigarettes I smoked at the time and threw them at the painting. I don't know why I did that. It was some zen gesture. It was like, this thing is so great, I'm jealous or mad that someone I, did it. And, have you seen it since then? I haven't seen the restored version. No. You have not seen the restored no, I version. I, be, I believe it's in the East Coast somewhere. Is uh, it the it Whitney is, or, is, or somebody yes. owns it? I, I've seen a bunch of Jay DeFeo since then. Now, the LA County has the Jewel, which is a smaller painting of, by Jay DeFeo, somewhat, right. somewhat like that. So, so now, uh, ooh, here we go. Now, in the, in the, at the same time you're around all these painters, you're making your own mark. What year is this painting? Well, that's a 59. 1959? <coughs> maybe, maybe 60, 62. Okay. Yeah, that was the early 60s. It was in a show I had at the Batman Gallery. Uh, Who owns this painting now, do you know? You know, the, uh, the LA County Museum had six of my paintings. Really? Big paintings. Do and they still have them? They didn't deaccession them, did they? They still had them, they had them in storage. The thing was, they at one time had all my works. Uh, Janie Livingston was the curator. Okay. And my life had sort of gone down the tubes with drugs and ill, you know, rock and roll and all those great things had sort of taken me down the road of uh, uh, excess and incomprehensible demoralization. Did it lead say. to the Palace of Wisdom? Well, it, it led to no. <laughs> 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 oh, so Nietzsche, was, was it Nietzsche said that? <laughs> it, it led the other direction, and that's why I felt uh, I didn't know how long I was going to be on the earth, and Janie was a curator of modern art at the L.A. County Museum, and she said, well, I'll collect all your work, and she did. So a lot of the paintings were in San Francisco where I lived, and, and, uh, and they collected all my paintings. 
Well, later I got myself together and I quit taking drugs and uh, I, I became involved with a uh, school that offered enlightenment. It's called Arika. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Arika. But, uh, yes, it's a meditation school based on the teachings of Oscar Echazo. Okay. Some people call him an alchemist. Uh, he's a great teacher. And, uh, and, and I got myself together and someone wanted to buy a bunch of paintings of mine. And so they went to the LA, we made a deal, and they took all my paintings out. But six of the paintings were in um, the uh, Reddle Gallery. Ah. And so they didn't get those. Ah. So you're now, 40, 50 years later, uh, there's a curator there that knows my daughter, Bianca Bradman, and she said, is your father, B uh, Robert Bradman, does he paint? And she said, yeah, he paints. Uh, she's the one who bought that first piece that was shown, and, uh, <laughs> and it turns out they're my paintings. So they gave me a little runaround. They weren't going to give them back, and I offered to give them some of them, but they wouldn't uh, sign an agreement that if they sold them, they had to be offered my children first. So we, anyway, I got them. I just recently got them back. Uh oh, was, most artists are trying to get into the museum, and you're fighting with the museum to get your art out, of the, out of the museum. You've rescued yeah. it from its life sentence behind bars. <laughs> it's true. So, so this is from the uh, late '50s, early '60s. Yes. Yeah, oil 60s. paint. Oil paint. They're all oil paint. Yes. Some are 90. Uh, this painting may be 90 inches uh, high. Oh my God! So it's large. Yeah, they're it's, big paintings. This is actually proportionate almost. Yes. Uh, so uh, let me ask you this uh, about the painting. Would, have you ever tried this new stuff called acrylic paint? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, fun? For sure. And you like it? I use the same paints that uh, uh, Ed and Andy use, uh, the Nova Color paint. Uh oh, Nova Color. Yes. Well, free, free advertising, not <laughs> allowed. Advertising. Oh, hey, I want to pay up, man. Liquid, we're going we're gonna to bid up with Liquitex now. <laughs> so uh, what are we looking at here? This is much more abstract for, from well, the others. This is a painting called uh, uh, Snow White, I think. Snow White. Yes. And is this uh, based on drugs too? Uh, no, not really. I, I sort of uh, have been drug free for 34 years, so. Uh, wow. Uh, I, I don't really. Enjoy. Are you, are you, do you, and do you like it? Some people are drug free and they're not exactly, they're kind of like, I wish I could still do these things. Are, well, are you, I, uh, I'm into meditation or one thing or another. Is meditation I, your drug? I, I feel you can get high without using drugs. So you can get high on meditation? High on meditation. Uh, do you consider it an altered state of consciousness? Yes. And, and would you say that art is the, is the residue of a higher state of consciousness? I would say art is a facility to transmit and translate and channel higher consciousness and wow. clarify consciousness. Oh my God, I, I don't think this show has ever been this philosophical. You know, well, we're, we're just kind of into talking about trendy things, you know. You're, I, you're coming on here, you're being very, you're very, you're, you're, you're one of our more um, philosophical guests, you realize. <laughs> well, um, I, I don't know about that, but it, it uh, I, I saw Gary Folks who has a, a show and they have a thing on Finnegan's Wake and they're very intellectual. And I saw a lot of quotes about art recently. Wait, wait, Gary Fialka? Yes. Gary Fialka's great. I didn't, I, he's still around? Yes. Oh, yes. geez. Tell him I said hi next time you see him. Yeah. He interviewed me. He interviewed George Herbs. He does interviews. He's, he's still doing the Finnegan's Wake yes, uh, Reading Club? Yes, oh, my yes, God. They do a page yes, a day for 40 yes. years? Yes. Wow. But uh, I saw all these quotes about what art is, and it made me sort of sick because I, I think art is just a simple thing of connecting with the spirit and, and, letting, and love and letting people... Uh, drop away from the strife and the craziness of the world and, and transform their consciousness to a higher state. So simple yet so sophisticated. Well, it, I don't know if it's sophisticated. It's actually very simple. Is this a new work? Or that looking, is a newer work. A very yes. new work? Or yes, what, what year is new. this? It was on the cover of the Beyond Broke calendar. I, uh, ah. I'm a curator there at Beyond Broke. Let's hear, let's hear about Beyond Broke because you're doing a lot of cool things there. Well, this is a, a picture of Ten people. We had a show. It's called the Hot Ten. The Hot Ten. And the some Hot of them, Ten. I believe some of those people have been on your show. There's here. been a couple people here on the show. There's oh yeah, Aline's been on the show. Bob, well you've been on the show. Ted Meyer, Gay, Catherine. Oh, we're gonna have Jody on soon. We've yeah. had Gary. We got to get Mike Street on here. Right. And uh, Carrie, we got to get Carrie. Yeah, you got this get show. Carrie. Ha Carrie Ross, where are you? Hello, <laughs> yeah, hello. Right. We're waiting. Okay. Um, and, and who's that in the middle? Remind me of her name? Uh, Sherry, Sherry Mortiche. Mortiche. You Sherry. should definitely have her. Where, is she still in L.A.? No, she went back to New York, to, well, to Brooklyn. She sorry, couldn't. we don't do satellite transmissions. We <laughs> live stream from 
Boyle Heights, California. Cool. So tell us about you. You did this show at, at, at the at the uh, what's the name of the gallery at the, at, at Beyond Baroque? Uh, the Mike Kelly Gallery. Why is it called the Mike Kelly Gallery? Because Mike Kelly was a patron of ours. He was and, a patron. Uh, he donated money. He did. He wow. Did. We used to get a check every year, and then he died, and uh, suddenly the checks kept coming. Ah. But then after just last year or so, the, the foundation said, oh, we're changing our habits. We want you to submit a yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Fill January. out the paperwork, yeah, and now we're big shots. And we did. We were rejected our proposal. So. Amazing. Amazing. Well, Following Mike's wishes, of course. Yes, Jack yes. I'm sure he wanted um, a lot of stupid paperwork. But you, yeah, yeah, yeah my, <laughs> my Kelly, good point. He was big on stupid yeah. paperwork. So, so what are we looking at here? This, uh, is a, this is a blast from the past. That is. That's Philip Whalen on the left, and me, I'm holding a painting that I uh, brought to give Alan Russo, Gary Goodall next, and then Alan, uh, not Russo, Alan... Uh, Ginsburg. Ginsburg, yes. And then Bob Kaufman, the black uh, poet who was considered the American Rambo, a very great poet, and then Lawrence Ferlinghetti, and then Alan Russo and Charles Plymel, who wrote a book I'm in called... Uh, um, what the hell is it called? The Last of the Moccasins. The Last of the Moccasins? <laughs> yes, yes. It's very big in Europe. Uh, Where is Pocket Book? Is it still around? Oh, it's still around. Amazon hasn't put it out of business yet? No, it was originally published by um, uh, Ferlinghetti, you know, City Lights, but now I think, it, yes. So, so, so um, real quick, back to... Uh, the Mike Kelly Gallery at, yes. at Beyond Baroque. Uh -huh. You are on the board of Beyond Baroque? No, no, I'm, I'm the artist in residence. You're the artist in residence yes. at the Mike Kelly Gallery That's at correct. Beyond Baroque. Yes. And you bring in a lot of other artists. So you I, become a curator. I'm, the, I'm, I'm the curator, yes. You are a curator at the Mike Kelly Gallery yes. at Beyond Baroque in Venice, California. What's there. that? That's our current show the current that show. will open up on Saturday. Saturday, uh, Sunday, May 7th, 2017. Yeah, Sunday, yes. uh, two neighborhoods photographed by Ed Heckerman. That's wow. Right. Well, I've seen a lot of great shows. I saw a great Mike Street show. I saw um, a great Diane Silver show. So, yes. uh, so there's, there's, yeah, you, you've had some good, good, some, good stuff there. I, I, Andy Moses is coming up. Oh, really? Um, yeah. He's going to be on the show yeah. in a couple weeks. And so, uh, um, Mark Dusher. Oh, Mark Dusher's going to do a show there? Yes, yes. Unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. Great. I, I mean, love these are, Mark. These are, I, I was at his opening. I said, we talked. Mark's, talk. we Mark's fabulous. No, no, Mark's great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, great painter. Well, Bob, you got a lot going on. I think you're an inspiration just like, you know, I'm 52, oh. and I thought, I'm going to start slowing down here. And here comes Bob saying, yeah, I used to hang out with Ginsburg, and now I'm curating all these shows and, and meditating every day. I got I to gotta, I gotta get busy now. <laughs> Bob, thank you so much for being on Modern Art Blitz. Oh, thank you, Matt, for all right. having me. We will be back right after this. Thank you.